This guide shows you how to reinstall Windows 10 whilst keeping your files. Unfortunately, it does remove your programs and settings, but it should keep your personal files. However, I do still recommend making a backup copy of your files before doing this, just in case it all goes wrong and you do end up losing everything. A backup is definitely worth it, so please make sure you back it up. Please make sure you've got disks or passwords to reinstall your programs and reaccess things like your emails make sure you've got your settings to reset things back up like if you use outlook for instance or thunderbird or windows live mail for your emails make sure you've got your email settings because it will wipe all of those out like i say it will keep your personal files but it won't keep settings and it may not keep your emails depending on how that's set up too. So that's why I say please make sure that you've got a backup. It's always a good idea to have a secondary backup of anything important whenever you do anything on your computer. So let's get started. So first of all, move your mouse over the start button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and left click once. Then move your mouse over the settings cog just there and again left click once. This screen will now appear. Move your mouse over update and security and then left click once. And then move your mouse over recovery on the left hand side here and again left click once. It's got here more recovery options. Learn how to start afresh with a clean installation of Windows. Left click that there. Then it says, did you mean to switch applications? Setting is, settings is trying to open Windows security. Move your mouse over yes, left click once. Windows security opens. So fresh start says, Start afresh with a clean and up-to-date installation of Windows. Start afresh by reinstalling and updating Windows. This will keep your personal files and some Windows settings and remove most of your apps, including Microsoft Office, third-party antivirus software and desktop apps that came pre-installed on your device. So therefore, it will remove quite a lot of things. As I say, I can't stress enough, take a backup and make sure that you've got your installation media or passwords to be able to reinstall and reset things back up because this will mainly take your computer back to uh, a complete fresh. Okay, so move your mouse over get started if you're ready, if you have backed everything up and you've got everything you need to, to reset the computer back up and left click get started. OK, so it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? As long as it says Windows Security and as long as the verified publisher is Microsoft Windows, move your mouse over yes and left click once. OK, so again, it's given us a warning here, it says fresh start. This will remove all apps and programs except those that came as standard with Windows. Any store apps will be installed by your manufacturer will also be kept. Your device will be updated to the latest version of Windows. Your personal files and some Windows settings will be kept. This process could take 20 minutes or longer depending on your device. So if you're sure you want to still go ahead, move your mouse over next and left click once. And there we go. It says getting things ready. This won't take long. But every time I've seen that, this won't take long in Windows 10. It will take a long while. So please be patient. Don't try and stop it. Just let it roll. Oh, here we go. So it says here, your apps will be removed. You can reinstall many apps from the store, but you'll need to reinstall the following apps from the web or installation disk. This list of apps will be saved to the desktop and can be viewed later. So on my machine here, it's saying it's gonna remove Google Chrome, OneDrive, Microsoft Visual C, Oracle VM Virtual Box, guest add-ons, VMware tools, and Windows 7 games for Windows 10 and Windows 8. Obviously your list is gonna differ because it depends on what's on your computer. So if you're happy to proceed, then move your mouse over next, and again, left click next once. Okay, so it says, let's get started. Save your work and leave your device plugged in and turned on. This will take a while and your device will restart several times. You won't be able to use your device while refreshing Windows, but we will let you know once it's ready. So make sure you don't turn the computer off, leave it. It may look as though it's stalled at times, but please just leave it. It could take several hours. So if you're ready to go, then move your mouse over start and left click once. And that's it, hopefully within an hour or so you should have a fresh version of Windows and uh, you should be able to reinstall 
all of your apps and all of your settings. I hope this guide helps. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.